This is Liz from the Terra team. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Dragon GATK Whole Genome Germline Featured Workspace and its accompanying workflows. To find the workspace, first navigate to app.terra.bio and log in with the email you use to register for Terra. From the Terra main menu, select the library dropdown and then choose the showcase section. In the search bar, type Dragon which will return the featured workspace. Select the workspace to open it. Let's take a tour, and then I'll show you how to clone the workspace so that you have an editable copy of it where you can try the analyses. This workspace contains the whole genome single sample, or WGS, analysis pipeline, which takes in unmapped BAM files, performs pre-processing like alignment and QC calculation, and initial variant calling. We are featuring two pre-configured workflows that run the Dragon mode of the WGS pipeline. Dragon mode aligns reads using the Drag Map Aligner and calls variants using the GATK tool Haplotype Caller in Dragon mode. In the Workspace dashboard, you can find descriptions and instructions for the two example Dragon GATK workflow configurations. The functional equivalence configuration produces results functionally equivalent to the Dragon hardware and the maximum quality configuration performs additional steps like unmapping contaminant reads and using spanning event genotyping. Today, I'll show you how to run the functional equivalence workflow, but the steps are similar for both configurations. Let's take a look at the other workspace pages. The data page contains sample data to run the workflow. The read group data table contains example inputs in the form of unmapped BAMs for multiple read groups. The read group set table organizes the different read groups into a single set, all belonging to the NA12878 sample. Reference data, like FASTA files and other metadata, are in the reference data table and the workspace data table. To view the workflows, go to the workflows page. Select the functional equivalence workflow, which takes you to the workflow setup page. This is where you can view the workflow name, the version, and the source. If I select the source link, I'm taken to DocStore, where the workflow is stored. I'll show you more about this in a bit. The setup page is also where I can choose data from a data table or configure the workflow input and outputs, which are at the bottom. The inputs are already configured to pull sample and reference data from different Terra data tables. On the outputs tab, the workflow is configured to write data back to a Terra data table. On the script tab, I can view the actual workflow script written in the workflow description language, or WIDL. When I'm ready, I can run the workflow and monitor the progress in the job history page. If the run is successful, I'll see a green check. So what if I actually want to run this workflow? First, I need to clone the workspace by selecting the vertical three dot icon from the dashboard and selecting clone. I'll give my new workspace a unique name and select a billing project. Then I can select Clone Workspace. Now I'm the owner of an editable workspace copy. To run the functional equivalence workflow, I'll first select it from the workflows page. In the setup page, I'll select read group set table as my root entity and specifically choose the NA12878 dataset. Then I'll save. Since the workflow inputs and outputs are already configured, I can select run analysis and then launch. I'm taken to the job history page where I can monitor the status of the run. After the workflow completes, the resulting outputs, like the VCF containing initial variant calls, are written back to the read group set table. If I want to customize this workspace for my own data, I can follow the tips listed in the workspace dashboard. I can also read more about the pipeline in its overview, linked here. 
If I want to run the Dragon GATK pipeline locally or outside of Terra, I can access the workflow from DocStore or GitHub. Remember that the workflow source is listed on the workflow setup page. If I select the workflow source, I can see the pipeline in DocStore. From here, I can export to other tools, view the source code in GitHub, see different versions of the workflow, or view the Whittle script in the Files tab. This concludes the demo of the Dragon GATK workspace. We hope you enjoy using the workflow.